The Earth Sunukpe, Alajia Aya Abubakar, has praised the designation of Bida as the city of craft and folk arts by the UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Abu Bakr in Abuja at a two-day national workshop on the implementation of UNESCO 1954 Convention on the Protection of Cultural Property in the Event of Armed Conflict said Bida earned the elevation due to its sustainable protection of cultural property in the event of armed conflict. The traditional ruler, who is also the chairman Council of Traditional Rulers in Niger State, added that the city became the first city in the country to be accepted as a member of UNESCO Creative Cities Network. Recently, Bida City became the first city in Nigeria to be accepted as a member of UNESCO Creative Cities Network, UCCN, and designated as a city of crass and fault art. This was as a result of the protection of the Bida City's cultural properties which have survived several armed conflicts dating back to the 11th century. To date, the city traditional institution was able to maintain its respect of cultural properties by not exposing it to destruction or damage in the event of armed conflicts, hostility, and by safeguarding it from theft, vandalism, and prohibiting the cultural properties from any act of endangerment. According to him, the cultural property has been safeguarded from theft, vandalism, and prohibited from any act of endangerment. This was made possible by employing traditional measures such as protection by traditional security system, community networking, knowledge and skills transfer, local learning and practices, storages, festivals, and creativity. According to him, universities that study archaeology discovered the seemingly less bracelet technology developed thousands of years ago that is still in practice in Bida. He said the technology was highly sought after globally. In the event of the discovery, the ancient technique of thousand years ago of seemingly less glass bracelets technology was put on exhibition recently in France. This was made possible by Bida traditional institution domestic protection system of cultural property in the events of armed conflicts. Mr. Nate Adediro, the resource person, urged the federal government to allocate a statutory budget for the preservation, protection and security of cultural property in the event of armed conflict. Adediro, who urged the domestication of the protection of cultural property in the event of armed conflict, stressed the need for relevant authorities in the education sector to be incorporated in the school curriculum. It is to maintain our identity. It is to showcase and project our identity as people of various uh, tribes in Nigeria and as unique as Nigeria is because that's a defining thing for Nigeria that there must be something to protect and preserve our Nigerianness. We may be diverse, we may be many, multilingual and all that, but the only way we can showcase to the world is the preservation of our culture. And not only is preservation as such, we must use them. It is the use of them that we also make a total protection of them. Also, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Information and Culture, said that the national workshop was to produce the strategic plan for the protection of cultural property in the event of armed conflicts. She recalled that the Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in the Event of Armed Conflict was adopted at the Hague, Netherlands in 1954 in the wake of massive destruction of cultural heritage during the Second World War. Nigeria ratified the first protocol of the 1954 Hague Convention on the Protection of Cultural Properties in the Event of Armed Conflict on the 5th of June 1961 and also ratified the second protocol on the 21st of October 2005 and has since committed to the implementation of the instruments.